I'm going to do the oak ones next. And uh, I have to be careful again because I wasn't able to put a spacer in because this uh, shaft on this particular mandrel is, I think it's too short. But anyway, if I put a spacer in there, then this end here is not properly into the mandrel saver. At least that's my opinion. It's on the threads of the uh, mandrel of the, of the shaft. And I like it to be able to grab in on the shaft itself. Anyway, that's my, you know, preference. So, once again, I'm just going to be real careful not to touch this. And, uh, yeah, we'll just get going here. We're going to start out at about 1700 RPM, I guess. And I'll start out with the, uh, uh, with the roughing gouge. And then I'm going to switch over to my tried and true scraper after I get these corners taken off. Now that 600 grit sandpaper will cut the metal bushing and then you'll get the metal particles into that light oak. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking a fresh spot on the sandpaper wiping from the inside of the blank to the outside. So in other words I'm sort of wiping anything out and I'm always sort of trying to have a fresh spot because once I go over the bushing with that sandpaper the metal particles are in it. I think we're ready for the polish now 
and I'm hoping I got all the scratches made by the coarser sandpaper sanded out, because if I didn't, they will show up. Now what I've found is that if I sort of sop it on and have it turning really slow and then wipe off almost as much as I can then speed it up and then polish it on the first coat anyway it sort of helps get it into all the pores and especially on oak it sort of helps to get rid of this white powdery stuff here you know maybe I should use the high pressure hose and see if I could blow some of that out I think I'll do that yet Yeah, that did make a difference. But now I gotta turn on my air cleaner. Whew! Yeah, I'm working it right into all those cracks as best I can here while it's still wet, because once it sets, you can't get it to go in anymore. Okay, and I'm going to wipe off the extra. And I'll speed it up and buff it a bit. Okay, give it a few more applications and bring up the gloss. I didn't count, but I gave it about six applications of that wax, just the way you saw. And uh, the only thing I've got left to do now is the mahogany, the sycamore, and the burl. And I'm going to go ahead and do the sycamore and mahogany, and the burl, I'll show it to you. That's the one that I think is going to be interesting. It may be problematic. We'll soon know. <laughs> 